Hi, if you want to know how to set up Shoutcast to broadcast live internet radio station, I'm going to show you one of the simplest and fastest ways to get going using a system we've got called radio.co and it's one of the easiest ways to actually broadcast on the internet. And I will literally guide you through how to broadcast a live radio show within a few minutes using Shoutcast. Now, this is already assuming that you've installed Winamp and Shoutcast. If you haven't got these bits of software, they're free and can be downloaded using the links that I'll provide for you below this video. And there are three bits of information we need to get started. These uh, three fields are listed on this DJ bar inside radio.co. As you can see, um, we've got a countdown telling us how long it is before we're going to go live and you can actually connect up to one hour before your show is due to begin. You can schedule your show using the scheduler or, and you can also invite other DJs to come and broadcast as well and control when they can broadcast. So it's a really flexible system, it's very straightforward and easy to use and it's all based by the web so you don't have to download any other software. It's all controlled from within the web control panel here in studio.radio.co. Check out radio.co if you want a free seven day trial we'd gladly assist you with any uh, questions you've got and i'll give you our email address at the end and feel free to email me with your questions all right so let's get started first of all we need to copy these fields as you can see when you click them they're automatically copied to your clipboard the host is first which goes into our server address field here on the shoutcast plugin next up the port number all of this information is unique to each dj so um make sure that you're copying your information, not using someone else's, because otherwise you might not be able to connect. Finally, we need the password, which is this little uh, password here. Again, we copy that by clicking on it, goes into our clipboard, we can paste it in the field. So there's no way of getting it wrong, there's no margin for error there. Next up, the directory. We just need to enter a DJ name here. I'm going to put DJ James for this example. The other thing you might want to configure is you need to make sure your encoder is selected to MP3, and we recommend broadcasting in at least 128k to make sure that your stream is crystal clear okay and that's what you want to give your listeners a good experience and that is it now we're ready to hit the connect button we can either use Winamp to play music or for more advanced users you can even use other software as well and you can configure that here as you see currently we are set to Winamp recommended so we're now broadcasting we're live and whatever we choose to play on Winamp will be going out onto the system However, because our show hasn't begun yet, no listeners will actually be able to hear this. And it's not until this clock hits zero that that's when your broadcast will actually be switched out to live for listeners to hear. But as I say, you can kind of connect in advance just to make sure everything's working okay. And you can, as soon as that clock stick clicks zero, start broadcasting stuff that you actually want to be heard. Um, you'll see the indicator here has gone green to show that we're connected and the system is receiving our broadcast. Let's say um, during our live show, the internet connection goes down or the computer crashes and we get disconnected, or if, indeed if I just click on disconnect, you'll see and the, the control panel here, what will happen is it will recognize this and it will update itself. As you can see now, it's switched, no DJ connected, but listeners will, won't get kicked off. Listeners won't hear any silence or dead air. The system is really clever because it recognizes this and it will actually automatically cut back to the scheduled playlist. Or if the DJ doesn't show up for their show for whatever reason, listeners will never ever get any silence. They'll never get dead air. They'll always have something to listen to. Um, and the system is very clever like that. Then let's say we you know recover from whatever outage we've had on this end. We reconnect and also the system will recognize that then the radio station or our live broadcast will be brought back on air again. If it's during that time slot that we've been given, listeners will be able to hear us with no problems at all. The other thing to note is when this clock does hit zero, I mean, obviously at the moment we've shown up well in advance of our show, 55 minutes. We don't recommend doing that. Maybe show up 10 minutes or five minutes in advance. But when that clicks zero, uh, as I say, not only will listeners be able to hear you, but also it will start counting down and showing you how long you've got left on your show because all shows, all good radio stations should be set to strict schedules and you know if you've got an hour left on your show you want to know how long you've got left before the next guy shows up or before you know it reverts back to playlists. So that's a quick tutorial showing you how to broadcast live using Shoutcast for Winamp which is really great and it's free, works very well for live radio broadcasting. If you've got any questions, if you want to start your radio show and you're not really sure where to begin, we're gladly here to help. We've got a whole team of radio professionals working with us here at radio.co and we'd be delighted to hear from you. So if you've got any questions, our email address is studio at radio.co 
or you can reach out to us on the Twitter at radio.co. Thanks very much for listening and happy broadcasting.